Hey, everybody, it's G. Scott in for John Clayton. This hour of the show is brought to you by Good Chevrolet. John Clayton will, of course, be back with us next week. He's on a little bit of vacation, but joining us today in studio, Jerron Johnson, former Seattle Seahawks and, of course, Super Bowl 48 champion. Really appreciate him being here. Here pretty soon, what we're going to be talking about is I decided to do this. All of these lists have been coming out. And so what I want to do is is I want to really get a list. And here's a qualifier. The first one is going to be the wide receiver core, the top five wide receiver core in the game. Jerron has played against it. He's seen it. It's not just going off stats, but he's just going off of what it is that he's seen out there, the top wide receiver core that is out there. And, of course, the rule is – He's not allowed to use the Seahawks at all. So, so when we go top five receivers and then the top five quarterbacks conversation, you're not allowed to use the Seahawks. Before we get to that conversation, lately, I don't know if you've been hearing about this. Probably not, but this is something that we have been talking about, at least the media has, we have. Um, Russell Wilson right now, and right now he's on a diet. I don't know if you know that. And because, you know, there seems to be, I don't know, people are concerned. I don't know if folks are concerned. I didn't really know that there was concern about his weight. And then, of course, Russell and his folks put it out there, this different diet that he's on. And then, of course, he took to Twitter yesterday, said he was thinking about some macaroni and cheese, but he's kind of staying away. Uh, Should we at all be concerned with Russell's weight? Not at all. He probably, uh, you know, his wife just had the baby. He probably added a little baby fat. He wanted to shut off. You know? <laughs> he, he was pregnant with her. Congrats, Russ, by the way, if you're listening. Congrats on the baby girl. But, nah, I mean, he knows his body as well as, as – I mean, he knows his body better than anyone, any of us. So, you know, he probably got with his team and figured he, he shed a few pounds, tone it up a little bit, and, you know – Get healthy. I, I, I'm not worried about it at all. As long okay. As, as, so, long as, as long as his legs and his arms still work, okay. he should be all right. Now, now, I do. I will agree with you. I mean, I've had kids. I, I, I gained a little bit of weight at that time. Yeah. You know? Yeah, you know, <laughs> late night cravings, you get them too. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. Well, you, we, you put that to bed. There's nothing to worry about with Russell Wilson's uh, weight. All right. Here we go. We're going to go top five deal. We're going to do a wide receiver core, and we're going to go, of course, quarterback. And the biggest conversation right now, we'll start with the wide receivers. You are not allowed to use, of course, any of the Seahawks at all. So right now, rating from five down to number one. I got to put them in order? You got to. Well, I mean, I would like, kind of. Right. I mean, you can't just, you can't just, I mean, there's a big difference between, I'm quite sure, number one and number five, right? All right. All right. Well, All right. if you had to rate them in order right now. From five to one? What from five to one, the top wide receiver core in the game. The number five. I'm okay. going to go Oakland Raiders. Oakland Raiders. Oakland Raiders. You got Cooper, Crabtree, Roberts, who plays in the slot. Mm-hmm. Um, and he, they just add cooks to tight end. Okay. So I'm I, I'm adding tight ends to this as well. Oh, no, no, that, that's fine. That's all fine right. because it, it, it all goes hand in hand. Okay. I mean, it helps. Okay. It it helps your wide receiver game. So yeah. for sure. And then you have Derek Carr. You know, the quarterback. So that's I'm that's also a receiver as well. He has to get the ball there on target and on time. Is Cooper as good as advertised? Cooper's good. He I don't think he's reached full potential yet. Mm-hmm. But he's good. He's good. He's putting up the numbers. And he, he can only get better. I, I believe he has some uh, big drops, though. So, you know, just catch the ball. But Crabtree had a great year last year. Well, I don't wait a minute. Hold on. And I'm glad you bring up Crabtree. And I and, and then I'm not just saying this because he used to be with the Niners. I'm really not. I'm really not. Even though back I know to this, that NFC Championship game a little bit? Uh, yeah, yeah. What yeah, you about yeah. to say? <laughs> no, 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 no. I wasn't going to do the sorry receiver or nothing <laughs> like that. But look. I just don't see it with Crabtree like a lot of people do. Is he – tell us the truth about Crabtree and his game. He's He gets open. He gets open, he catches the ball. <laughs> okay. That's what a receiver's supposed to do. Uh, but, is, but is it that par for the course? Like, it does, it doesn't – every receiver – shouldn't they, every receiver be able to do that? They should. Open they, and catch, uh, you would think so, right? Uh, every receiver should be able to do it. But right. Crabtree – I like Crabtree, man. I mean, you know, Richard, I love you. You're my boy. You know – I know, you know, the situation y'all had, but Crabtree's a good receiver. I like him. Okay. All right. So, at number five, you have the Oakland, the Raiders. Oakland Raiders. Number four. Who would be the number four? Number four. Out there in the game. Wide receiver core, number four. I'm going to go with the Green Bay Packers. You have Cobb, Jordy, and Adams, and then you add Martellus Bennett. It's another. You see what I'm saying? You got the, you, is Mar- Does Martellus Bennett still got it? 
He was one of the best uh, I, tight ends I, in the game. I, last year. I know, I know, but now hold on. And you have Aaron Rodgers. <clears throat> You see what he oh, did? Oh, okay. You you know? Okay. Martellus Bennett has wisened up. So Martellus Bennett is like, hey. He he got tired of the Cutlers. <laughs> you know, he he, he 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 went from you would go from Brady to to, to Aaron uh, Rodgers. I, I think one of his quotes was you go from like Beyonce to Holly Berry or something like that. <laughs> so it's he, he he's that a, yesterday. He said, I'm like Beyonce, let me upgrade you. Yeah. <laughs> hey, so he uh yeah, I mean Martellus Bennett, he's in a win win situation the last two years. So I think he instantly makes that team, the receiving core, better. Now, you know, here I, in this town, you might not know, but I'm just going to let you know that we here do not like Green Bay at all. Don't I mean, like them at all. I, I oh, they, open, they open up next year, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. At, at, no, at Green Bay. They're at Green Bay. You want me to lie on radio? No, I don't. No, 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 no. The people don't want you to, No, they don't want you to lie. I'm just letting you know. Now, as we talk about that, how hard is it? Really, like, take take us into that. What is some things that happens when you're back there and you know you got Aaron Rodgers and his Green Bay wide receiver core? What is it that you're looking for with Aaron Rodgers, man? A Rod's gonna look you off, and then if you don't get that, you seen the game last year. Um, that was also my first game back with the Hawks. He scrambles, and he he just he just finds a way. A Rod is special, man. He he he's gonna find a way to get his receivers open. He he'll throw them open. The, they're, they're, I mean, they're they're not the best talented receivers, but I feel a Rod makes them better. So, so the quarterback can make. So, so for example, let's say a wide receiver core is like a eight, right? Yes. A quarterback can make them go from an eight to a ten. Yeah. There, there, there's another another guy or another team on this list that I know. Okay. So you're you, not gonna like. So okay. Number <laughs> he makes he makes their okay. core better. All right. Well. So number five is the. Is, is uh, Oakland okay. Raiders. Number four is the Green Bay Packers. Who's number three? I'm going to go Atlanta. Atlanta Falcons? Atlanta Falcons. Okay, well, that was. All right. The well, Atlanta uh, Falcons. There might be another one on the okay, list. Okay, like Atlanta it. Falcons. <laughs> let, me, let me get this. Let's check this out. Julio Jones. Julio Jones. Is he the LeBron James of the wide receiver position? Is he that bigger, stronger, faster? Okay, I thought you were going like, because I feel like LeBron's like. I would feel he's the greatest of all time, but that's another story. Too far. I won't go that far. I'm a, but he, he's the greatest right now. Okay. But uh, Julio, he's one of the best receivers in the game. He's big, fast, physical. You, you, don't, you, don't, you don't give me any of those. I th- why do I think that – okay, you talk about the Atlanta. You got Atlanta number three. I think Matty Ice, I think Matt Ryan is just a little overrated. I don't think Matt Ryan is as good as everybody says. Now, I know we're talking about the wide receiver core in Atlanta. I don't think he's as good as everybody says. He's good. Uh, yeah, he, he, he's, he's good. How, how do you say he's not? I mean, the numbers. He puts up numbers. I know. I know. Numbers got, don't lie. What they say, men lie, women lie, numbers lie? Wait, no, whoa, whoa, whoa. Tell the truth. Sometimes in a league, can, the, can numbers lie? Sometimes? Yeah. Okay. But as a quarterback... You, that that don't lie, okay. That don't lie. All right. So Julio. So let's talk about Atlanta and yeah, Julio Sanu, and then the 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 slot receiver who Gabriel, mm-hmm. he had a good year last year. If right. he can continue to do that, and um Matt Ryan, I, I like Matt Ryan. I feel like every good receiving core has to have a good quarterback. Okay. I'm he's not the best quarterback in the league. He won MVP, but he's not the best quarterback in the I league. I get it. I get it. But. He's he's one of the top five quarterbacks in the league. So what do you have to do? I mean, do you do you bracket? And what I mean, everybody, what I mean by bracketing uh, Julio Jones, I mean, in your guy. Okay, let's take the Seahawks and their cover three scheme that they're running first, second down usually, mm-hmm. and then usually on third down, that's usually down. You guys go man, right? No, you don't. You don't always go. You don't. You don't. You don't go man. You stay in the cover three the entire time. I mean, it depends on the situation. It depends on down the distance. Okay. Um, the situation on the clock. But I say probably eighty percent of the time we're in our cover three. Now in that cover three, do you? How do you do things? Well, how would you do things different against Julio Jones? You don't. You don't. It's it's you. St- you th- th- there's principles to the defense. The corners have to stay on top. You got your buzzers who have to get underneath. Who's the buzzers? The you know the uh you got your Jeremy who, who play outside. Jeremy Lane. The linebackers sometimes the safeties. Uh, you got to get underneath, get underneath, so that all the out routes and you know comebacks and everything are taken care of. Then you have your hook players, which are usually Cam or in the linebackers. They have to be in the hooks. Right. 
And that that takes away all the windows if everybody does their job correctly. So the principal, the the main ingredient and the main thing with the cover three, it's fair to say that Coach Pete Carroll and, of course, you guys' defensive scheme is do not give up the long ball over the top. Do not give up the deep ball. That's it. Nothing deep, nothing cheap. <laughs> oh, nothing deep, nothing cheap? You all heard Gerard say that. Write that down, man. <laughs> so when I steal that, y'all know where I got it from. Man, where did I get that from? That was from JJ. I stole it from Coach Richard, so – Oh, nothing deep, nothing cheap? Yeah, nothing deep, nothing cheap. Okay, so all right. We got number five, Oakland. We got number four, Green Bay. We got number three, Atlanta. Number two, wide receiver core in the game is? Giants. New York, New York Giants. Giants. Ooh, we. I don't, I don't know if I can even disagree with that. And I, and I said this before, and actually I was having a conversation. You were down the other day when you were over at Bobby Wagner's deal. You were down the way. I was talking about Brandon Marshall being one of the best to ever play the game. Yeah. He's he's he's, he's a physical receiver, man. B. Marshall, he's the kind of guy he wants you to get hands on him so he could grab you and toss you out of his way. Yeah. But you add OBJ, well, Odell, and then you have Shepard in the slot. And then you the the rookie, Ingram, mm-hmm. the tight end rookie. I don't know what he's going to do in the NFL. Okay. But from what he did in college at Ole Miss, he was special. So if – all of that gels together, they're easily one of the top. I mean, it's a lot of ifs going on. Okay. But seeing how if they can if they could, you know, not let the ego take over, they'll be they'll be pretty good. All right. And number one, number one wide receiver core in the game is Patriots. Now, are you saying that because of Brady? Seventy five percent because of Brady. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, are you? Oh, wait, are you? But so- look, but all right, look, you have Edelman. Okay, you add Cooks. That's your deep threat now. He has a deep oh, threat. Now, the, the, the Cooks thing makes it just, oh, my goodness. Okay, okay, go ahead. All right, Gronk. And then you pick up the, the other tight end from the Colts, uh, Dwayne. Uh, what is it, Dwayne Allen. He, You're just giving Brady more, more and more targets. You got Cooks, Edelman, uh, Danny Amendola, Hogan. They're not big name. They're not top five receivers in the league, but together – with Brady. So you're saying that Brady makes up 75% of what they do. I might be putting a little extra on it, but. 50? Uh, I'm going to give him more than 50. I'll go 60. Do you think any You think any receiver can go there and shine with Tom Brady? 90% of the receivers in the league go there and shine with Brady. As long as they're willing to go in and listen, right? they'll be all right. Oh, boy, boy, boy. Now. I got to I'm not going to steal this thunder from the 509. But I'm going to go I'm going to go ahead and give it to the 509. Where in the world are the Pittsburgh Steelers in your <laughs> top 5 list? You have Oh my goodness. O- outside of Antonio Brown who? Well, Martavis Bryant's coming back. I know. He he he, he Is wasn't. He? <laughs> <laughs> outside of Antonio Brown, who do you have? This came up with my lady last night. We were talking, we were, we were discussing it, and she she said to steal it. I said outside outside of Antonio Brown, who do you? But have? you don't think Big Ben does it the same way that Big Ben's that, great. Big Ben, he he's Hall of Famer. He's he's great. And, and Antonio outside, Brown is a future Hall of Famer. Outside of Antonio Brown, who do you have? Are we going top, best receivers or best receiving core? Oh, no, best receiving core. No, no, we're not going best <laughs> receivers because we all agree that the names the Patriots don't have the names exactly. Really, whatever case may be, but. You, wait, wait, real quick, you don't think the Steelers' core is even better than the Raiders? I know where you're going. You, you don't think they have- Outside of Antonio Brown, tell me. <laughs> you, okay, man. <laughs> I'm waiting, G. No, you got hey, it. You got but, it. But, okay, there's two other teams that I like. Who's that? You got, I, I hope they, I, I think they're going to do good. The Bucks with D-Jack and um, Evans, Mike Evans. Right. Jameis Winston, I think he's he's a little underrated. Um, you think Jameis Winston's underrated? I think so. He's gonna he's gonna be special. Wow. Okay. I think All right. so. All right. And then the Miami Dolphins. I like their I like their I like the uh, receiving core. All right. Well, you like guys got it. He has number one, of course, the Patriots. All right. Real quick. Here we go. If you're just joining the show right now, we have Jerron Johnson, former Seattle Seahawk and of course Super Bowl Forty Eight champion, has been a part of the Seahawks for almost his entire career. Went to Watched the Redskins and the Kansas City Chiefs, and then of course came back here, played a little bit last year. Still looking, he's going to be hopefully getting picked up here somewhere here pretty soon. Jerron Johnson is joining us. All right, 
I want to get to the top five quarterback because, man, that, the top five quarterback conversation can be had every single day. I have put a buzzer up under you. If you say anything that me and the listeners disagree with, their buzzer will go off like crazy. Now, the rules are, as he gets ready to do the top five, he is not allowed to use anything Seahawks. Okay, fair? Fair enough. Here we go. Number five. Or do see, you have an honorable mention? See, I do have an honorable mention. Okay. But this is the thing. I couldn't really rank them. I have one and two, and then the rest just fall in. Okay, that's fair enough. All right, well, it, I mean, okay. Who are some honorable mentions that didn't even get in the top five that we should all know about? I like Derek Carr. That's really – he he he's he's gonna be a future of the league. He's gonna be a future of the uh, once Brady and A Rod and all those guys decide to hang it up. He's gonna be the future of the NFL at quarterback. But I mean, the obvious number one is Brady. Right, right. Yeah, Brady. Brady's number one. A Rod. Number two. And then I mean, who's your who's your three that's in there? So you got Tom Brady, A Rod, and then you have Drew Brees, who's still playing at a high level. Okay. Big Ben. Big Ben. Matt Ryan. Oh, okay. I don't think there's any. Uh, you know what? I don't think. You, you don't like Matt Ryan, though. I, I, I don't, and I just, well, here's my question. And, and let me just tell you this. I mean, there's always somebody that's not going to get in. No, Matt Ryan would not be on that list for me. I have somebody who will get on that list, but I said, I brought this player's name up the other day, and you guys kind of frowned a little bit. Even KJ kind of frowned a little bit. What's up with Eli Manning, man? Why don't Eli Manning get no love? The dude is a two-time Super Bowl champion, the brother of Peyton. He's been doing it for years. Why does he not get respect? You know what? We had this, we had, like, a couple months ago back home, me and my boys, we had this argument. The elite quarterbacks. There's five to six elite quarterbacks. I argued Eli into being an elite quarterback. Well, he's, he's not in my top five. He's, he's up there with Derek Carr, close six, seven. Up, wait a minute. Hey. Up there with Derek Carr? Hey. The disrespect that you are showing him. I mean, does he You're talking get... top five in the game right now. Yes. The body of work of Eli is great. He will be a Hall of Famer. So, right? uh, but, but you're saying he, he's he, on the way he's, down. He's the only one that can beat Brady in the Super Bowl. Why? But, <laughs> uh, 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 okay, but sorry, why is, sorry, Seahawks. But, okay, but why is Aaron Rodgers? I mean, Aaron Rodgers... So sometimes I just think some of these quarterbacks, I'm just playing devil's advocate here, they get the love based on the Super Bowl championships, right? Yes. And Eli Manning has two. Yes, two. Why didn't he just get the respect and love that Joe's throwing back in in the top five? Not you, there's everybody. There's some other people that don't think he's elite. Eli's elite. He's elite. He's just not one of my top five quarterbacks. So he, if you, not Eli, he, I, I play with the Giants on Madden, That's, so he's my guy. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Wait, 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 you play Madden? Oh, all day. Whoever want to, I'll, I'll, I'll drop my username on my Twitter, Xbox. We could get it in. Oh, you, you just tell them right now. You're gonna. What is it? Uh, two three T W uh, T W O three. Uh, damn, I forgot it. Uh, don't worry two, about it. Two three show off or something like two that. three show off. I, I, I gotta look at it when I get home. Do you but, do you really take pride in beating people on Madden? Yes. I, I, if I I don't like to listen to you in my headset, so I'm not gonna put my headset on. So <laughs> you distract me, but. If I had your number, I would text you after I beat you and talk mess. <laughs> well, there's but that. But no, Eli, Eli is Eli is a good quarterback. He's he's for sure, he's for sure elite. But I just don't have him in my top. Five. You can tell our board, our new board op, Kim, today. You can tell he's just steaming under that. De- I, Kim, can he, you even? You're a giant can, fan. Can you even play Madden, bro? Let me even kind are, of play Madden. Can you? Are you even any good at Madden? I haven't, I haven't played in a while. I'll admit that. Okay, it's, it's see, been, I can tell. I, I knew I, he was I don't need the excuses. I don't need no excuses. So, so we can't, no, so we can't I'm play. not saying I can beat him. I just, I just uh, remember seeing Doug at the Madden event, and he he was talking he was talking a lot at that I've, Madden event. I've never heard Doug play a video game. I've never heard never? him play a video game. Never? Doug's, I hope he's listening. Too. Doug, Ooh, Doug, Doug, I want Doug's, to see that. Doug's terrible at video games. Yeah. Oh. I, I hope he's listening, yeah, too. I've never heard of him playing video games. <laughs> <laughs> Well, before we get out of here, since we just got on that topic, well, we, we we got the quarterbacks out there. He's got Tom Brady, of course, number one. Uh, um, Aaron Rodgers, number two. And then he got in also in there. You got Matt Ryan, Big Ben, and Drew Brees are in that five. He was not allowed to use Seahawks at all. So, But before we get out of here, if there was right now uh, uh, all time, and since you've been with the Seahawks, an all time Madden champion right there, who are some of the top three Madden players that we would like to know that's, that play with the Seahawks? On the team, 
Who can play? Can you, you obviously can play. Earl 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 Thomas can play video games? Yeah, Earl Earl's pretty good. Earl's pretty good. Uh Ron Parker, who used to be here, he was good. With Kansas City Chiefs right yeah, now, Ron yeah, Parker. Ron Parker was good. Who else can I think of who was good at Madden? Can can Sh- Sherm can't play no Madden. Nah, he 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 plays two K. Him and uh one of my boys from back home, they be on a two K live uh streaming and stuff. But I think he's more like of a, a, a shoot, like the shooting video games, like the Call of Duty type stuff. Uh huh. Um, I don't know. I can't think. When I was in D.C., man, we had a whole Madden League. Uh, we did the draft and everything. Oh, it was real. Oh yeah, it was real. It was real. But here, I, here's had, ping pong. Yeah, I, I can't get into it. Yeah, you, you can't get into the ping yeah, pong. I can't get into it. How how important are games in the locker room? Like you know what I mean? It, like like how how important is that? It light it lightens the locker room for you, man. It loosens it up. It, it allows you to have some fun while you're at work. You know, um, the atmosphere is just you got. First off, you'll have about ten different music systems going on in there, uh, beat <laughs> pills and and different speakers. But when Marshawn was there, he had the the monster Skittles speaker box in there uh-huh. that drowned out everybody else's music. So all you had to look, you you listen to your music and you can't hear it because his speakers were louder. In everything is Bay Area music. Did anybody say, Marshawn, would you please turn that down? Oh yeah, you would. People would say it. It's music's not going down. <laughs> 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 well, man, we're having fun here with Jerron Johnson. Hey, this is your opportunity. We do it every day at eleven thirty. Text in seven ten seven ten. Power by Coors Light. This is time for you to ask your text questions. Ask me. Ask Jerron. Ask whatever you want. It's Friday. Some of y'all got that check. We do that next. Is G Scott for John Clayton.